Hello. Hi. Today, we're learning sitar. Taught him everything you know. Yeah, I could totally do yeah. that. <laughs> Stupid reactions, and today we are learning to play the sitar. Sitar? Sitar is good. Is there better? Uh, I feel like I'm saying it white. Uh, well, you, yeah. you, you, you do. I do. Yeah. I do. Most things I say white. <laughs> um, and we are here with Ron Abir, uh, and he is a professional sitar player. Hi, I'm Ron Abir Lahiri, and I'm a sitar player, uh, but I'm not a classical sitar player. I play American pop tunes on the sitar. Um, I can't play any for you now, unfortunately, because of copyright issues. But trust me, <laughs> I rock them out. Uh, I've been playing this instrument for 35 years. I trained classically. And, uh, you know, 10 years ago, I decided to just kind of play the songs of my childhood, which is like, you know, Prince and Michael Jackson, Rihanna and Justin Bieber. You know? So uh, that's what I'm doing. You can catch me, uh, you know, you can catch me wherever you catch American pop sitar players. Uh, I'll let you find that out. Uh, Ron Abir, Ron Abir Lahiri. And he is going to make us professional sitar players as well. Just like that. In about like an hour. And then we're going on tour. Dates will be coming up soon. Corbin Shankar here. Um, and so we only have two sitars, so we're going to take turns here. So Rick's going to learn first. And what's great about this is neither one, of, this is the first time I'm feeling like a sitar in my hand. So even though I play piano and, and guitar. This like is sitar. this is for us the first time we've ever encountered the instrument for ourselves, so. Yeah. yeah. And if you can't hear me because I forgot that I have to talk into the mic, I'm sorry. Let's go. Okay. You were telling me at the very beginning when I asked you, how do I hold this? And you said, you, you wanna just do it one anyway or you wanna do it the quote unquote right way, yeah. which is take off your shoes and socks. Yeah. And, and then there's a particular way to sit. Sure. How, yeah. how should, if I'm doing it the right way, how should I be sitting? Okay, so your left leg yeah. is going to tuck under your tuck right under thigh. behind right? my right thigh. Under your right thigh, like okay. that. Okay, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And you want it sticking out, so it's really stuck out. So the, really the, far whole, out. the whole sole of the foot is exposed. Okay, and so then that this rests that, in th it. That curvature fits right. right into the curvature of the instrument. Got it. Right? Right. And then this sort of uh, forearm rests here. But it rests in a way that this is now freestanding. So and more it's, like it's this. Balanced, yeah. And you okay. want this on this kind of a 45 degree angle. Okay. And it's freestanding so right. that so that you're not holding it oh. with this hand. Right? You want this you want your uh, left hand to be free. So put your uh, forearm a little bit more. Yeah. Ah, there like you that? Go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now take that mezrab, the little uh, finger pick. Oh, uh where is it? Did you give it to me? It's uh, it's on the last peg. Oh, there it is. That's that's where you store okay. your mezrab. That's what sitar players know. That's where you keep your mezrab. And put it uh, so that the uh, the metal part is going straight. Not not like the turn turn it halfway. Turn it halfway. Yeah. Either way is fine, right? Yeah, push it all the way down. Push it all the way down. So it's really snug on your finger. Like that. Good? Yeah, it's like yeah. that. Yeah. Does that look right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Now your thumb, anchor here. You see that? Yeah. Anchor here. So now, again, you got to find that nice balance so that this hand is free. Because this it. this left hand needs to be free. Got it. It needs to be able to roam free. Okay. So you're having a balance between the, the sole of your foot right. and your forearm. Got it. This, this is here. anchored here. You never move this. Okay. Never ever move this. Okay, yeah. Okay. So now your thumb is anchored. Right. This is this hand is free. Free. Yeah. Now you're ready, ready to pluck the string? Sure. Okay, so reach over. You want to curve your hand like this. So it's a nice curve like this. These fingers, right. they, they don't they don't separate. These stay together. So, so these three in, all four or just these three? Uh, all, all four. four. All okay. four. Yeah. So it's an in and out motion like this. Got it. It's in and out motion like this. Got it. So you want a nice curve. You want to be able to come down and just hit the main string without hitting any of the other strings and pluck inwards. From bottom to top. Yeah. This sounds better than you. Yeah. What happened to your thumb, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> it went flying. Yeah. 
That's one of the things that's very different because you play guitar as well. Your thumb doesn't stay on the neck like that. Oh, no, you got to anchor this. This yeah, thumb yeah, yeah. is your anchor. That's, okay. that's, your, that's your strength right All there. Right. That's your strength for your power for making the sound. And it's going to play all the strings. It's going to play the, 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 the one string down here and the strings above as well. Yeah, but you play them, we play them at different times. So okay. you're playing... Okay, now take now now take your uh, your left hand. We're right. Gonna fret. We're gonna fret it behind sa, which is the main 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 note of the scale. This one. Yeah. Here. You see where I am? Yeah, just behind the fret, just behind the fret, not touching the fret, but just behind it. Yeah. And how firmly should I press down on it? Pretty firmly. Pretty firmly. Yeah. You by oh, the end. Yeah. You want like a groove in your finger. Just like on a really guitar. Really firmly. I could tell because just like on a guitar. When I didn't, it's kind of a muted sound. I have yeah, to press yeah. it down firmly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, just like guitar, you're going to get some blistered fingers fast. Yeah, yeah. It only, it's only excruciatingly, excruciatingly painful for the but, first 10 years. Perfect. So you'll be fine. Just what we need. You'll be fine after a decade. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So, now, are you still free floating with your left hand? I don't think so. Yeah, it didn't look God like it. it. So, yeah, yeah. Cause, and the reason I want you to... Play, I'm going to be free floating without the proper seating. Oh, How's that? Okay. You lasted less than five minutes. I did. Wow, that's yeah, okay. that's, that's okay. more than you usually. But I should okay. put, I should put okay. something here to protect the bottom of this. Every few years, I have uh, students come to me, and they're middle-aged white guys. We're like, I play guitar in college, and they come, and I show them. How, they say they want a lesson for me. Yeah. So they come and they sit on the floor. Right. And and they, after about five minutes, they say, "That's great. I'm good. I'm good for yeah, you." Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and, I, and I never hear it from them again. That's right. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Honestly, I learned to sit like that when I was 14 years old. Yeah, that but you difference. you sat that way for like 30 something yeah, years. Yeah, you know, it's hard to do it when you're old guys like that. Whew, dang, if I'm going to watch Corbin. I don't, even know, I don't even know that Corbin's going to be able to put the sitar in the ball of his foot. He's so young. Look how lithe and... and so lithe? He's, so, he's lithe and virile and agile. Oh, and yeah. Like, he's like a ba ballerina over there. <laughs> Three kids. Over All right. Yeah. So now, now that I'm not thinking about my sitting... Yeah. And I'm able... I'm free. Let me give you a little cloth. You can put yeah, and I can put it down into yeah, the, behind well, me. You already failed, huh? I've... Adjusted. <laughs> I've not failed. Rest it next to you. I've adjusted. So it's not on your thigh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now keep that free. We want to keep this free. Right? Okay, so now we're yeah. free. Yeah. And now we're going to start here. I'm going to go okay. up the scale. Ready? So you just play along with me. <laughs> okay, we'll go again. And coming down. A little bit faster now. I came close. <laughs> Do you always use very the good, index finger on the on the neck? Is it, and is this called a neck? The neck, yes. It yes, is yes, the neck. Yes, yes. It's a neck. Neck is a good word. Do you ever um, you you use the second finger uh -huh. when you're turning around? Got it. Only for turning Only around. Only for turning around. The rest some of the time, people, it's the index. Some people kind of come up with their own technique after many years. Like, I sometimes I'll put my second finger, my third finger down, um, sometimes more often. And uh, do, you, do you see how you're picking up your finger? You kind of don't want to pick it up all the way. You want to slide it. So keep it on the string. Yeah, but then you can put the second finger down to turn around. There. That's nice. That you you're doing very well. You're, yeah. You're really doing very well. Yeah, yeah. You're, okay. You're, 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 you're playing very well. Great. So let's introduce you to the chicory strings. The chicory strings are these ones on the top. And the, the they call them right. chicory strings because when you when you when you play them, they sound like a chick. They sound like a. So the way you play the chicory strings are those these underneath? No, no. They're the, they're just these these three strings. At the very top on the Got first bridge, yeah, those three. Yeah, but but the way you, the way you're activating them, is the opposite direction of the way you're plucking this first string, which is inwards. So the chicory strings are Go gonna down. flick out, like this. That's why it's important to anchor your thumb. I yeah. see your thumb has lost its anchor position. Yeah, anchor the so thumb. So when you anchor the thumb, and then you flick out. And you also, that's another reason why this needs to be so snug. Yeah. Because otherwise, otherwise you're going to go, boom, and hit somebody in the front row in the eye. That would be terrible. <laughs> Awful. Yeah. 
So seven now, people have been blinded by my sitar playing so in just the last five minutes. Let's play that same scale, but with a chikari in, in, in between. So we'll do like this. Okay. Got it. Let's hear what you got. Start with the note or the chicory? Start with the note. Ah. Ah. Okay, got it. You're falling down a little bit. Oh, and I got to turn around. Nailed it. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's really uncanny. It's really great to hear you play, and the reason is because I just know how it makes me feel that my job is safe. <laughs> Got that right. So. Oh, I, I want to do other fingers. See, I naturally, did you see, I went like that, and like, you can't do that. It sounds very good. You're, you're doing very well. You're doing very well. I'm very impressed. Your turn. Excellent. Come you to me. You can tell you have musical background. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> see the difference. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. My feet sweat a lot. Is that okay? I'm oh, sorry. Could... Hi. So what do I do here? Yeah. So the mizrab goes on your 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 index finger, but you got to turn it halfway. Make a half turn. Yeah. Yeah. So the metal part is going straight down, sort of bisecting the finger. Yeah. That's nice. Nope. But no. Yeah. A left foot is going to come under the right thigh. Under the right thigh? All the way under. Okay. So this is completely exposed and open. Okay. And the curve of the gourd, which is the base of the instrument, is going to fit right into there nicely, nice and okay. snugly. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be balanced and it's going to kind of... Oh, hello. How hey, are you? baby. How are you? Nice. Is it made out of an actual nice. gourd? Yeah, this is a gourd. Oh, nice. This is a gourd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what do I do? Gourd, that's right. So you want to get at a nice 45 degree angle. Okay. Yeah. Nice balance. Can you keep a little bit further away from your body so you're sitting behind the instrument? Okay. Yeah. Keep it at 45 degree angle. It feels like it's going to fall. The top is going to be a little bit harder. Is, yeah. is it more like this? No, no, no. No. Straight, no. straight, straight up. Straight up like that, yeah. Oh, good and lord. Tip this up a little bit more. Tip this high, higher up. All right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now put your forearm, rest it here. This is the counterbalance. Uh, okay. Okay. Now let that hand go. See if it falls. Oh, yeah, you're good. Okay. Yeah. So that's the balance you want, I'm right? I'm so nervous. Now the thumb. <laughs> The thumb on this, you anchor it right here, just behind the last fret. Now, Anchored. There you go. Anchored. Now the... Maybe. 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 Yeah. All right. Tell me how to do my foot again. So it's... That's gross. I love foot stuff. Next oh. we need to do is have him play. How, how many bars before the copyright kicks in? Uh... Usually less than 10 seconds. Okay, that was less than 10 seconds. Right. <laughs> there you that go. That was like miss. There you go. Yeah. I heard it, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm doing this all wrong, so adjust okay, me great, again. Okay, great, Yeah, so your foot is good, and you want you want at a 45-degree angle. Sure. Yeah, yeah, very good. And you wanted this hand free, so put, put, this, this, put the forearm over here for the counterbalance. Okay, thumb. Exactly, right, yeah. And thumb anchored. Right. We're going to fret here. Put, put, put your finger here right behind this. This is the saw fret. What? Saw, right, right here, right here. But right, right behind that. Front. Of course yeah, it is. Yeah, right. That's the soft right. Shut up, Rick. All right. Let's let's activate. This oh, right. are you asking let's, let's me play, to do let's something? Play a note. Right? Let's play a note. I haven't done anything. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to go slower than this. 
What do yeah. I do here? Well, I got something after this, so okay. we're gonna have to keep it, keep it moving. Yeah. What do I do here? Yeah, yeah. So thumb anchored. What where, where happened to your thumb anchor? God Put damn your it. Thumb back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now reach under, and you want to keep your hand curved. What you am keep I plucking? These four fingers together. The first string. Oh, beautiful! Look at that. You're playing a sitar. Nice. Corbin pretty, Shankar. You look pretty pleased with yourself. Oh, I yeah. Have to say, yeah. <laughs> this is better okay. than I thought I would do. All right, we're gonna go up the scale. Okay. Watch my fingers. Are you just doing this? Yeah. Is, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, your colleague got it right away, but I think you might need a little bit of. My colleague has played an instrument extra, in his extra life. Instruction. So, so you, you don't want to play all the tones in the scale. A couple times you're going to skip fret. So from here to here, it's just one fret. And from here to here, it's two frets. Two frets. Follow me. It's like he's trying to speak to me. I swear. Okay. Ooh. Correct. Yeah! Yeah! Now, now one fret, because it's a half tone. Am I the same? Okay. Ooh, God. Yeah. Yeah, now the, now two now now skip one fret. I can't see. Skip this one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, but maybe don't bend yet. That's a little bit more. <sighs> so just, Sorry. just okay. to play the note. Okay. And then one fret? Yeah, don't bend it. Just Oh, am I bending? Don't yeah. bend it like back up. Sorry. Don't bend it. Yeah, and then skip one fret in the next one? Oh. Then, oh, ooh. Yeah. Put it's it right behind the fret. Little, little pitchy. Don't bend. Oh, God damn. You, you, your Why hand does it is, sound like a dead chicken? Your hand is looking a little bit uh, little bit uh, sort of cramped up there. So it, it, it hurts so maybe, a lot. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe we should move this out. Maybe we should put the forearm here. Put the forearm here. Like my, and anchor my, this thumb again. My knee doesn't hurt, but my, my hand feels like it's going to stay like this forever. Well, at least your knee doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the top last last saw. What do I hold on? You and I make a whole person. Put the put the third finger down on the last saw. Half a, half a fret. This? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh god. Excellent. Sounds beautiful. <laughs> hold on. Okay, let's come down. We'll go. <laughs> go a little slower. Just like that, Gordon. Nailed it. <laughs> Just listen to the difference. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> We've lost 50,000 Indian subscribers. <laughs> I feel like I'm disrespecting the instrument. <laughs> this is awful. So, okay. Skip one. Oh. Half step and a half one. How do you just pluck one like so effortlessly? Well, because your thumb isn't anchored in the proper. Place. Uh, lost the thumb. That's the first thing I said to you. You did. Is that, is that you anchor that keep, thumb? You, you never move that. You thumb. You said keep the thumb in, and I said yeah. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <I'm> so, <laughs> out, outstanding. I'm sorry. Wonderful performance so far. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now where are we at? <laughs> Shall we play a song? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I think I'm ready. Watch me. Hold on. <laughs> I shouldn't even try. Do the first three again. <laughs> Is that this one? Yeah. Hold on, where's it go? There. Where's that? Here? Uh, one down. Here. Oh, no, one down. Down, down. Oh, one. here. Yeah, yeah. So it goes here and yeah. then here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. 
Up one? Yeah. Up one? Oh. Up, up, oh, this up. is up. Yeah, that's up. Yeah. <laughs> but, but go Why up. does it sound like because that? You want to go right to the edge of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't bend. Yeah. Where? Oh. Yeah. Uh, one more oh. right down. Two frets down. Whoa. Hey! Thank you for patronizing very, me. Very beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's like a lullaby almost. Now, yeah. can you play it so we can have a palate cleanse? I feel better. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I uh, I feel like we both did very well. Oh, I, I'm confident that if we needed a tour, we could. <laughs> Do you need any backup sitar players? I, at the moment, I'm good. But okay. Thank you very much for yeah, the offer. Yeah, you yeah. have a gig that you can't make. Just yeah, just hundred percent. Uh, I will. Give me like five minutes. Heads up, though. Uh, thank you so much for for sitting down with us and teaching us. It was um, scary. And still is, it's but it's a, such a beautiful instrument. Yeah, it's an instrument like, like most Eastern instruments, I, I suspect, are just there's they're not like really as much as it has a similarity to the guitar. It's it's a very very different instrument. You know, I admire you guys both for taking such an interest. Think of it as scary. In fact, it's not scary. I mean, music is not, music shouldn't be scary. Wow. Music is just music. I've never played music. And whether it's <laughs> Indian music or whether it's an American music, we all have the same twelve tones. We're all given the same twelve tones, and it's just you know it might be scary for other reasons because of the connotations associated with it because the only Indian musicians you might know are the great masters, right? But there are also musicians of every level. And, you know, for, for I'm a mid-level musician, right? And it shouldn't be scary. Like, the, the, the scariness is what's keeping the two cultures separate. Mm. It's like, is, we're scared of that. But, it, but it's not. It's just, it's just music. Yeah. It's just music. And music is the great unifier, right? It's like we can take melody and it can transcend language send culture like I can play a melody from one culture and a completely other culture I mean there was a time in New York where I lived in this apartment above this Irish pub and I used to go down after my gig in the Indian restaurant I'd be walking home and I would stop in the Irish pub and I'd play for 40 minutes and I'd play Irish songs with these guys with the you know with the penny <laughs> yeah. whistle and the violins because music ultimately is music mm -hmm. right because melodies if it's Irish or if it's Indian we can all find a common ground there so, Absolutely. Uh, hopefully it's a little bit less scary for you guys. Thanks very much. And I hope you guys had a good laugh. Um, so thank you so much. Follow yeah. him on uh, YouTube and Instagram, correct? Yep. I'll put his uh, link in the on the video and in the description below so you can go check him out. And tag Zakir Hussein below to teach us tabla in yeah. the next video. Thank you. <laughs>